Hello. Welcome. This is Genshin1913, and we are starting a brand new Let's Play. This is the indie game for February 2015. It's called To The Moon. This is a terrific game. Can I use the controller? No. I have to use the mouse. Anyways, this is a terrific indie game made by, what was it, Bird something studios and yeah this game is really really good it was made with uh, one of the RPG makers and it's got terrific story and fantastical music and great characters personally I think the music in this game even compares to you know the lead composers of S Square Soft and, and even the Square e and Enix and all that so yeah let's Let's, uh, let's begin the game. This game is very story-based, character-driven, so there's not actually a lot of action. But this game's really, 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 really good. If you like love stories, then you'll probably like this game. So we start off with this house here on a cliff. Uh oh. What the hell was that? Yeah, so the music in this game is terrific. And this is Dr. Rosa Rosaline and her her buddy Neil. Dr. Neil Watts. You ran it over anyways. Oh. You ran it over and hit a tree. Yeah, these two characters are the characters we're going to be playing with. They're really cool. They're really, really cool. I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Neil is awesome. Alright, so we're going to be using the mouse, and we can left click on the car to inter integrate with the, or operate it. And then we can right click to uh, toggle the menu. This is, uh, this is our menu. As you can see, we're playing as two characters. Dr. Neil Watts and Dr. Eva Rosaline. Uh, and these guys are from Sigmund Corp. They are technician specialists. From here, you can check out characters. You can click on them, I guess. You can save your game or load it. You can go into your notes. And you can look at your items. So, save your game. I'm just going to do it. There we go. Right click to get out. And now... No, I don't want to do that. All right, so with the mouse, you can actually click and uh, you can actually walk away. Yeah, let's not forget. Let's, uh, there you go. Lock that car. So now we need to walk to wherever the hell we're going. And there goes a bird. this what's this a boulder yeah it could be the security system cucumbers Push it by hand. Three. 
Hey! What the hell? A bouncing boulder? What the hell is that all about? Anyways, uh, let's click here, and now you got squirrels, and now we're over here, towards, uh, another area, I guess. So yeah, this game is very story-driven. It's, uh, it's really a terrific game. Let me get the mouse out of the way. I'll try to remember to do that. But yeah, like I said, the music in this game is also really, 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 really good. I can't stress enough how awesome the music is. And it's a, it's a heartwarming, touching tale of love and regret. And as you can see, Dr. Neil Watts... He's pretty much our goofball guy. And Dr. Rosalie, she's uh, pretty much our uh, serious broad. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. Okay, so these two have great rapport already. You can already tell that they probably work together quite a bit. But what the hell does Sigmund Corp do? Well, we'll hopefully find out pretty soon. So yeah, this is Act 1. I think there's three acts to this game. Yeah, I, I actually uh, didn't know anything about this game until I saw... <clears throat> well, I'll explain a little later. So apparently someone's dying. Johnny. So let's grab this. And, uh, alright. So, I guess we'll head upstairs. But yeah, the first time I s heard about this game was, um... Uh, I actually was listening to the Flower OST. There, uh, and then I heard, and then I saw a link to this. And I heard a lot of people talking about this game, and I didn't know what it was about. But a lot of people said... It was a really good game. So then I ended up watching a couple, L, uh, like a walkthrough of it. Uh, and then I watched an LP of it. And it was really, really, really good. Small Metroid. Meteoroid. I can't speak right now. I'm an idiot. Anyways, here's this guy here. This guy is the doctor. And 
And this woman is Lily. Let's look around first. Ah, what the hell, we'll, uh, let's set the machine down. So what the hell does Sigmund Corp do? No worries, we're the experts. Uh-oh. So what the hell are we doing here? He's dying. We're not here to save his life. I mean, he's got his own doctor. Because we're awesome. The moon, so this guy's wishes the moon. He wants to go to the moon. Okay, so... Okay, so if they're not going to explain what Sigmund Corp does, basically what they do is they, uh... They, uh... <clears throat> they come to dying patients and go into their subconscious and their memories and they uh, basically any regrets that they might have had um, any regrets that they had he, he, they would um, they would basically uh, you know grant them their final wish before they passed and apparently his wife passed away a few years ago So yeah, Johnny. Alright, so which one plays is going to play detective? I'm going to have Dr. Rosaline play detective. Dr. Watts is pretty funny and stuff, but let's get serious. Just like Darkwing Duck. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. Alright, so now we can actually start walking around. Let's talk to Neil. Let's talk to the broad. Yeah, they're probably downstairs at the piano. But yeah, so what Sigmund Corp does is try to fulfill uh, any last wish that uh, their client would have before they pass away, so they can die like on, an, on a, you know, with a clean conscience or something. Alright, so apparently, I gotta get down. Alright, well, I'll hurry. So let's check out these things. Come on. Alright. Apparently, I gotta get really close. Alright, so there's a lighthouse over here. A painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. A painting of an animal. A casual painting of three people. Okay. The only thing I wish that this game had was controller support. Other than that, it's not bad. Alright. What do you have for me? And we get the remote patient monitor. It'll keep us up to date on Johnny's vitals. So if we right click, we can come in here. And as you can see, Johnny's vitals are up there. And we don't really have any notes right now. So let's look at this clock here. 
And apparently, it's a clock, I guess. Talk to the kids. Hey, yo, kids. Come on. Walk over and talk to these kids. Why is this... this... Why is this... Come on, already. Talk to the goddamn children. There we go. Can you show us around? Maybe. What, do we gotta go on some fetch quest? One trillion dollars. So we have to get these kids some candy! Yeah, I guess I'll get you some candy. Candy on high shelves, too. Alright, so the kitchen's to the right. There's that candy cane! And of course you can't get it either. Now we can get it. Come on, I'm grabbing the damn thing. There we go. It's gonna take me a few to get used to the, uh... Terrible calories. It's gonna take me a few to get used to the... How to walk around and stuff. I usually don't play games like this, where you gotta point and click. Oh, actually, that's the lie. I used to play them. Good old candy cane. She's not gonna sneeze on it. Alright, where do we start? Man, what funny room. It's weird! So apparently the old man hit, hit a book somewhere. Let's go this way. I don't know where the hell the study is, but this is the bathroom. It's nice to know the house has a realistic feel to it. And this is the study. The thickest book in the upper shelf, huh? Fell with a zombie. And look at that, we get the room key. Alright. A book fight, that's gotta hurt. Yeah, that, that'll, that'll stop a fight. Alright, now we're here down in the deep, dark basement. Alright, we'll turn on the light, and we can use this light here. And what's so creepy about this place? Unused fine china. Dusty books. I wonder what Johnny did for a living. Moldy books, moldy buckets, moldy cheese, you name it. These kids are nasty. Anyways, I'm gonna stop the episode here. In the next episode, we will find out what's 
in that bo uh, in the uh, the weird room. So this has been Kench 1913. I'll see you later. Bye bye.